All right, so this is our computer software. Uh, first, I'll, I'll just start with, uh, with the desktop. And the Blue Hill, this is the icon. So this is our software for controlling the install machine. I double click this. It will start the software. So the first thing you need to do is log in. So the username is student, and the password is also student. And click OK. All right. So now in this uh, screen, you can see there are different places like a test. So this is the uh, if you click this, it will start the ask you to choose what kind of method and also specify what are the dimensions of the specimen and then how to start test and some some other accounts you do not need to uh, worry about it uh, this is the only thing you need to click and also this is the balance load so balance load means we are our zero extension or balance load we want to make sure we always start from zero so you want to uh, balance load zero Zero extension to make sure this is all zero. It's changing a little bit, but it's fine uh, as long as uh, it's not you know not too much. All right. Now next we want to do is uh, click this uh, test. It will ask you to choose what method. Right? There are many different methods we have uh, created. So for you, for for this lab, we just need to use SF430 general test method. Right, SF430 general test method. This is only one method with SF430. Right, you just need to choose this one, um, and then click next. Then it will ask you to uh, uh, specify what is the sample's name. Right, uh, in order to uh, and, you know to be uh, consistent and also to be identified can be easily kind of identified by, by, you know, by yourself and also by other people, uh, you, you need, we need to give a specific name for it. And the name should have a format. You can, uh, you can look at the lab menu and see how to name it. Uh, but also I'll give you a guideline here. For example, the SF430 uh, and underscore line, year, month, date. So I'll choose 2020, uh, suppose, uh, say today is August 23rd and the last name so you include all your last names of your team uh, suppose I'm I have I'm a team with with, with Mark Schwader so I just put our last names in it and then specify what material is this test then um, it's aluminum say aluminum that's it. Uh, then hit next. All right. So this is the place that you need to see this uh, thickness and width. So this is the place you need to specify what is the thickness and the width of your specimen, and make sure you have the right unit. It's millimeters, uh, or you can also change it to centimeters, meters, or, or, or micrometers. Now we just need to use millimeters. Um, and then we just need to click, hit this uh, start button. It will start to uh, uh, apply load on, on, on a specimen. Now let's say um, hit start. Okay. You can see it's starting to create the graph here. Um, but I want you to monitor the specimen here. You will see later it will create a, a neck. So when we're doing this test, make sure you're always wearing uh, safety glasses.
All right, now it's uh, uh, it breaks. Next, we will come back to to the computer. You can see it actually created a what? It actually created a a nice graph. And next, we need to uh, save our file. So we finish it, we need to save our file. So here we just need to come here and click the save as, the save as. And on our desktop, there are different folders and you need to come up, come to this SF430 data. Get in here, there's the SF430 2020 folder. And next, you create a, your own Teams folder because you will save a lot of files in it. So I just use your last names. John, show order. Here. And then you just need to save it. Save in this folder. Okay. You can click finish. Um, if it is asking if you want to save some of the data, you do not need to save them actually. Uh, you, as long as you already had the save as, you're good enough. Um, and then we'll ask you do you want to start another new sample using the same set of test parameters? Uh, I say no. And and then I will go back to uh, the home screen to ask you to uh, specify the, uh, the test method. But something I want to show you here is after you finish the lab, you need to uh, unload the part. And you will see that um, sometimes they actually create this kind of really nice uh, neck between the two uh, you know, two parts. Right? So this is uh, uh, how this is how it works, you know, for the tensile test. Well, sometimes you know, a maybe the neck is not very clear, but sometimes the neck is can be very clear. All right, next I'll load uh, this uh, bronze materials. Down. I'm trying it again. So now we finished the loading uh, the second part. Now let's go back to uh, to the computer. All right. Here we'll choose our the same method and make sure you zero extension, balance the load, and then hit next.
do the same thing. It'll be 2020, August 23rd. John. Showwater. And bronze. So if you are curious if your file has been saved, uh, you can come to this folder and then check desktop SF430 data, SF430 2020. Now we have a folder here. And you can see several files are actually saved with the uh, aluminum name. There are different file formats and included in it is a PDF file. Just to let you know, a PDF file is the only file that actually can be opened on your own computer. So make sure you always need to have this PDF file and save it in the USB. Because this computer is there's no network, you cannot send out any emails, you cannot uh, have other ways. The only way is you use your own USB and put it in the port and then uh, save it in your USB. So you have to have, to have this PDF file. You can see how this curve uh, shows with some other data. All right, uh, name this and then click next. Uh, same thing, you can enter your uh, uh, the thickness and also width of the material. I'll leave it the same, um, but in your own testing, you need to make sure you you uh, you, uh, you you measure it and put the right data. Uh, and then you can hit the start. We'll come back again to uh, to this.
notice that there's a neck is forming. Now it broke. All right. Um, we will come to uh, the computer. And save our files. Uh, you can see this nice, cur nice curve about this, you know, tensile stress. And same thing, we just need to come here and uh, uh, click this uh, save as. Do not click finish, click save as, okay? Save as, and we already have this file name. Go to uh, our folder and save it here. Okay, um, save. That's it, All right? Um, then we can hit on finish. Do not need to save this, okay? It will ask, do you want to start another new sample using the same set of test uh, parameters? 